Hey everybody, what is going on? It's your boy is the 33 and it's been a while since we played Legends of Rune Terror and we are back and this is the first thing we're actually greeted with. It's our daily quest where we play 15 units from Demacia and Oxa, collect 5 points either from wins and or losses, so that's basically play 3 games technically if you get 2 wins and 1 loss or 5 games in total. Show your devotion. Spend 10 mana on Shadow Isles champions. Okie dokie. And welcome to the Expeditions patch. Along with the core game, this preview patch comes with new mode, Expeditions. We've given you an Expedition token, so draft a deck and earn rewards on us. Okie dokie, so let's try this mode. Draft and build de your deck using champion spells and followers from all over Runeterra, even if they're not in your collection. And test your skills against other players and battle for rewards. Okay, let's use our free token and try out this mode. So the, this reminds me of Arena in a Hearthstone. So we'll do Trail 1. Ooh. And we'll start with... Ooh. I would like to take Fiora as our base, and then we'll take Trindamir as a late game sort of carry champion. So we have that as our base setup. Uh, we could go Ancient Yay. That's a ball clearing tool. I kind of like this. Because it gives me some ball clearing. We need some low cost champions. And... This is probably a good setup here to pick for a starting hand. Our curve right now is quite low. That's actually useful. Uh, I'll go with this one. We need some five and sixes. Ooh, we'll go with this. Get our Lucky Poro as a starting card. And we need to look for a bit higher up in terms of card value. Yeah, we'll go with that. Mighty Poro. And Laurent Blade Knight, that's three and fours. We've already got a lot of threes though. We need five and sixes, and this is actually a good way to get one or two. Alpha Wild Claw. Alright looking card. Another Catalyst would be really useful. So we'll take that. Uh, nice, we'll take that. We could get a Senna. Senna would be useful, but... We don't have any Lucians, so maybe not. Let's take this, it gives us a bit more curve. They've got Bjergsen as a card. We'll go with... The Yusu. Harsh Winds. Yeah, we'll take... We need some cards up at that cost. And what we can do is trade... Yeti Yearling for a Shopkeeper. No. Plucky Poro for an Alpha Wildcard. Or Cipher the Cloudfield for a Laurent Blakekeeper. I'm actually going to take this trade. Because... That is probably the most useful. 
And there we go. We've got one... T if we win this match, we get to select a champion. Let's go. This will be our first match, and hopefully we win it. Ooh. He's got three sets of cards in his deck. We only have the two. We've got a starting card. I like this. This is a good hand. And because we all start first, we'll bring out the plucky Poro. That's actually quite a nice hand pick up there. It's his turn to react. Is he going to react? If you don't put anything there, I'm attacking with the Poro. Okay. He just brings in two cards. I'll leave it. He could kill it off and trade. I'd rather not trade. I'd rather build up a ball presence. Plus we can obviously... Ooh, Fiora. That's actually quite useful because we can actually kill off these two. She does have Challenger, meaning she can choose who she faces. And I'm going to probably use this card next round. He is taking a while though to choose what he does. He can also challenge my Poro into his thing. Don't see the point in that to be honest. To play draw two, discard two and draw two. He's basically sieving through his deck. He has 20 cards left. We have what? 24? Yeah. Okay. I'm... No, I'm going to save that. Just draw a champion. I'm going to trim them here into my deck, and there we go. That's the end of my... Oi! Set up there. Okay, my turn. And what we're going to do... Bring on Fiora onto the board. His turn to react. And because we've got challenge, we can obviously force this characters, these characters into battle against each other. What's this going to be? And he's going to just kill off our Fiora for free. Okay. Fair enough. We'll pass. We can bring on Sithira into our team, well, next round. Or standalone. We'll probably play standalone. If he tries to do anything. Okay. Come on. Don't know why you would do that. Okay. Well, I'll do that. Your turn. Your move. I'll give you a hint. If you attack... Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay. You're basically... Hmm. Okay. We'll skip block. He's basically going to kill our Sith for free. And now we get to play... No, we don't get to do anything. Except this. Yeah. You want to play that sort of game, I can play that game too. And we now get Avriosa's Trap. Uh, we'll actually use this. And if he wants to trade with us, by all means he can. I'm just going to go out and attack with this, basically. Okay. We're going.
I'm basically putting this way. You don't get to attack. And I'm free killing at least one of your characters. That's basically what I've done there. He's just going to challenge you. Fair enough. He's done a good trade there for himself. We're going in... What? I now need to get this off my bench. But uh, I can't. Next round... Well, next thing I'm playing this. Actually, no, am I? What does that do? Okay. I'll do that. I'm fine with doing that. If he can react to it, he will. And now he has to deal with that. We'll bring out the Enraged Yeti. I like doing stupid stuff like that. That was an alright round. Wow. So we are coming in with 7 mana now. Oh no, 8. Do that. Bring in 2 Dauntless Vanguard. He can't react to it. And there we go. Hi. We're going to get some damage out here. So we'll do that. We're going to clear some of the board here. We should kill at least two. And keep two alive. Never mind. We'll keep one alive probably. Okay. We'll do four damage. Okay. That's fine by me. I'll take the lead. And next round... Well, uh, Ancient Yeti goes down to 6 cost. Ooh. Last Breath. I might want to play that. I'm also going to bring out Trindamere. Wait. I can do this to match his ball presence. He's not going to match my board presence. I might as well match his. I need to do that anyway. Okie dokie. He's going to attack. Okay. Right. I'm going to match this by doing this. Then this. Then this. And block. We've got Trindamir on our bench anyway. And also Avaros and Sentry. We'll play the, play the Sentry next round. Okay, so he's trading. We're keeping one alive to his two. Now we have an extra character. There we go. There's me basically uh, equaling out his sort of setup. That doesn't sound half bad. But we'll bring out Trin to the bench. Trin can immediately join. Yeah, he's going to level up if I face off like so. Overwhelm, if you don't know what it does. Excess damage ideal to my blocker is dealt to the enemy Nexus. Let's hope this guy doesn't realize that. And we'll go. If he wants to trade with me, I will accept a trade. He doesn't realize, though, that if Trinomir is going to die, which he is here... He's also going to take 4 damage. 
He takes one damage there. We get an alpha wild card, and he takes an extra four. Trinamir goes big boy. Yeah. And he's immediately coming back on our bench. I can bring out the wild card next round. And also, I kind of want to use that. <laughs> yeah, we also have that as well. We can play both these spells. It depends how he wants to react. Okay, so we can play that. We've got we could actually play both spells and characters, so we'll do that. Okay. We use this. you can't react to it, then we'll go with that. So, we'll go with this, and hopefully we actually win this round. Okay. Now, I'm gonna just do... which it takes me the least. I'll do that. And then this here. Basically, I do believe we win. Never mind. We do not. Wait. Okay. We'll bring out the yellow leerling. If he can play it, we'll go with it. Okay, we'll go do that, and then we'll bring out this. There we go. This is me basically attacking for free. Excess damage ideal kills him. Boom, I win. Jeezy peasy. Let's go into next round. Okay, so after picking up that win with our Trindamir doing excess damage to this guy, we get parts of our daily quest done, and we get 100 XP towards our Noxus crate, and also items in our vault. So we're going to click continue now, and we get to pick up another champion. Now we could go for Ash. Which is a nice forecast champion. You, you frostbite 5 plus enemies, then create a crystal arrow next round. Frostbite an enemy, or that. We could either take Fiora or Trind again, and I enjoyed using that Trind. Silverwing Scout is a nice forecast, but I think taking a Fiora would be a bit more use to us overall. Okay, so on total of one wins, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six more wins to get. Let's go. Hopefully we do win around here with our deck. So we come up against FT Lemillion. Okay, now we're hoping for a good early curve. We get the Poro and a Stalking Wolf. I'll replace out this because it doesn't fit the nice 1, 2, 3 curve that we got. Another one cost champion is actually quite good. It's not even a champion, it's just a spell. And we're going second, which is a iffy situation. Now, we can bring out this little Poro guy. And counter off the challenger. Basically killing off his fleet feather tracker. We can then bring in the stalking wolf. And yeah, we get a nice first round here. Okay, so we do get to summon in you. Bring you onto the board. 
And yeah, we're going to obviously use our challenger. Okay, we're killing off the Lucian. I don't care. I don't want to deal with him. And we're going to clear the board here. Hopefully this guy doesn't understand what Tuff does and he tries to kill me the snow hare into my Poro. He doesn't. He's going to trade. <coughs> I will take that trade. Fairly nicely. And all he's left with is a snow hare. And we have no champions on our board. We can summon the Yeti Yearling though. That is actually quite good for us. So we'll do that. Okay. We'll do this. And we'll probably frostbite this. Next, well, when we can. Maybe not, actually. We'll save that. Looks like we're taking... Ooh. We'll take four damage here. I'm happy we're taking four. We'll get the use out of the Yeti Yearling. And no, we won't. I think it's time we use this. We use it on you. And we'll start killing him off. Which is an okay trade. I'll happily take four damage. Okay. That I like. That clears the board. And it also gives us two enraged yetis into our deck. That was a fairly nice setup there for us because we actually couldn't do that play until we actually took out the well, one health off of his thingy. So, fairly nice setup there for us. And... Okay, he's going to play a spell. Oh, nice. Catalyst I will take. Wish it came last round. Hmm. And we can't actually block, so I guess we're going to heal and just take the extra mana crystal. So he's doing 6 damage to us. Put us down at 13, and we are hoping for something useful right now. Yeah, we'll do this. This gives us two characters to counter his two. Plus, we can also brittle seed. No, we can't brittle steel. I tell a lie. Okay, we'll take them characters though. Can kill off his... Actually, no, we can't kill off... Should we get a free 4 damage attack here? Because he can't block with that. I'll happily take that.
What does that do? Okay, so they kill each other. And then he's retains board control, okay. It is... It'll be his turn. We can do it then. There we go. Boom, boom. So he's basically doing zero damage to us now. And then we can start looking at getting some board presence. Okay, he's going to do two damage to us, that's fair. We'll heal ourselves up. To 14 again. Basically, gaining one health. Which is fairly standard for us. Also, breaking out Sifra. And yeah, we can kill off this guy. And Fiora can join the board now. Okay. Pull you. And there we go. Basically, we're setting our Fiora up. She'll kill this guy next round. Hopefully. I mean, you can't force a challenger to go after something else, I don't think. But one thing we do know is... He has got a spell that you can play right now. spells okay well he just cleared my board okay well, we can't block that. Fuck it. Might as well. We'll gain the three extra health. And that'll be it. We're going to take another eight damage. Okay, our turn to attack now. Never mind, he's just playing a lot more characters. Okay. How many of them does he have? Jesus. Okay. Not good. I'll, I'll take that because I can use that. And we can use this to kill something, I guess. His turn. Hopefully, he blocks with the Vial more. No, he's gonna... Okay, I'll do six damage. <coughs> there we go. Okay. We need Trindamir online now. Game gives us a Trind right now, I'll actually be happy. No! But if he has a way to buff up his Vilemore, he's won. 
Or do you two damage or eight? Oh. I do believe he's won. There's no way I can't win now. Jeez. Well, we've lost. No way I can stop this. That was unlucky. But, I guess 50 XP ain't too bad. And that's going to be the end of our expedition. Or is it? Eh. I'll trade that. <coughs> if I am to do a draft trade. And... Oh, if I lose my next game, my trial will end. Did not know that. I thought this was just like Arena, where you only have one life. So, this should be interesting. To say the least. We'll get rid of them two. Don't need two of them in our hand. That's a lot better. I'll happily take that. And we're off first, so we're bringing out the Yeti Yearling. We also have a Frostbite now, that's actually really useful. Hopefully he doesn't bring character out so I get a free chip. He brings out Teemo. Okay. He won't trade Teemo. Well, he shouldn't do. Nah. He won't. Hmm. I'll take the one damage. Let's bring out this. He's basically forced into a pretty bad trade, to say the least. Never mind. Actually, no, that's actually quite good for us. We stop a lot of things from happening. So we'll bring out Fiora anyway. That's my counter to this. Okay, so what we're going to do is use Fiora. Force Teemo to face her. Do that. And attack. There's a vital proc there. And yeah, this is actually looking really good for us. Well, there's one of the shrooms. There's no more shrooms in our deck, hopefully. Okay. We'll do that. Kind of make his thing useless. And we'll bring out this guy. That's the end of our turn. And he isn't attacking. Weird. So. I'm going to do that. Because I can. We'll heal up Fiora. Basically next round she's going to level up. Into a big girl. She's got a pick of three here to obviously... Uh, Kill. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. If he wants to trade, I'm going to get a level 
amped up Fiora. If that spells cast, it should be our Fiora. <coughs> Maybe not. Who knows? Okay. Three two, but does the transfer go through? No, it doesn't. We'll take the stalking wolf. That's actually useful. Cause before the end of the round, I can actually bring him in. There we go. And now it's time for his turn. Okay. Ow. Amazingly, he hasn't actually, well, caused me that much issue. Oh, he's got two snow hairs out there, was he? <laughs> okay, so our attack time. Hi. She's back. Uh, if he wants to counter it, by all means he can. I'll put things this way. Them snow hairs are being killed by Fiora. Okay. I'll take five more of them. I'll take... Actually, that's more like eleven. That can kill me. Okay, time to kill off these little guys. The puff cap peddler is going to be annoying. So we'll use our... I guess we force combat with them. Okay, we'll do that. It's a safe play. Bring out this guy. Let's force combat with... No, we don't want you. We want you. You can come out. You can come out. Pull out on you. There we go. That's my attack. He's probably going to put something into this. Obviously, it's going to overwhelm. Which is not something he wants. Okay. He's going to basically kill off our Fiora. Which is annoying. But we just do a nice 7 damage to him. For free. And that's a Hymer. Okay. I think we win. We frostbite two of his enemies. Yeah, we can technically win. Okay. We kind of counter uh, Teemo by creating more cards. So, kind of get more health out of it. Ooh. Nice health pot there for him. And we're basically dead if anything sort of happens. Like, spell-wise, okay. We'll not use our spell. We'll summon you. Gives me a bit more play around with what I can block. He's going to keep these two on his bench. But that's beneficial to me. So I'm going to do that. Do that. Uh, that. And then block. We'll take one damage here. Now, he has to basically kill off this, 
we can obviously buff it up next turn. And that'll be it. So we're going to gain extra 3 mana here. This will be fun. So... We'll pass. We can use this for free next turn, and then this. Amazingly, that did not have... We'll use that. And we have 9 mana. Oh wait, that's exactly one ally. Okay. Let me think about this. And here's what I'm going to do. You don't get damage. And you don't get damage. Basically, what's going to happen is he's going to take a shed load of damage right now. No matter what he puts up against this. So he's going to take 7, 14 damage. Unless he blocks it up here. We're going to basically ball clear him here. So he's actually going to take 5 damage here. So he's down to 7. That's alright. Good round for us there. We'll take that whatever it is. We're kind of just hoping he can kill off at least one of... Well, hopefully our Alpha Wildcat Claw. And yeah, this is his turn to attack. He's got a lot of characters. Oh boy. We'll take one damage here. Two damage here, okay. Okay. This can be bursted, so we'll do that. Yeah, you're not doing that to us. Okay. You can go after you. And then... We'll do that. We'll nullify the damage we're going to take to just three from him. And then five damage there. Okay, it's our turn on attack. It's plus three, three. Okay. And more shrooms. We're probably dead now. <laughs> Jesus, there's so many shrooms. <laughs> okay, our attack time. Ooh, not good. Uh, we might as well. We've lost this. I already can tell. That's it. That's game. Unless we get a snowball. As you know, even then, we're just going to lose to that. Okay. We'll take two damage down to one. And it's a slow spell, so that's game. Can't do much more than that. Teemo, still broken. Any Teemo decks are still broken, ladies and gentlemen. That's always fun. And we actually gained 350 uh, XP for that. We also didn't get our trend in that last game. So, yeah, that 
We can do trial two. We'll do that in the next episode for you guys. All right, see you then.